Welcome back to the channel everyone. We got another ascendant challenge for you. Some more corrupted eggs and some more um, car bones. Now this is the sixth ascendant challenge in a six week cycle, which makes it the last one. Now this ascendant challenge can be found in the Chamber of Secrets Lost Sector on Ray Sylvia. And as always guys, if you're going for those corrupted eggs, you are going to need the Wish Ender Bow. It is the only thing that can break the eggs. And you are going to need your Tincture of Queen's Foil in order to get into the Ascendant Challenge. Now, I want to note that there is time trials for every one of these Ascendant Challenges where you have to complete it in a certain amount of time. Now, if you're going for the corrupted eggs and the Aham um, Carbones, you might not get that time trial completed. Now, in order to get the time trial, if you don't get it the first time, you will have to back out to orbit and go back in in order to get the portal for a second time. Now, if you don't want to clear out the lost sector, I would pop your tincture right at the beginning of it, and then you can just run through all the ads and jump into the portal. Or if you want to do the lost sector, you can wait to pop the tincture, clear all the ads, get your chest, and then pop the tincture right before you jump into the portal. Well, the portal location guys is basically at the very back of the lost sector once you get in you just run the whole way to back on the left side does a little ledge up top the portal will be sitting right on top of that ledge Now as soon as you get into the portal guys, there are going to be three knights that spawn in. Now there is absolutely no reason to kill these knights. Uh, there's another set of three that spawn a little bit farther in, and then another set of three that spawn in, and then there's one knight at the very end. Now I ended up killing all these knights to see if there was any triumph or anything to unlock when doing it, and I would got absolutely nothing. So that makes these knights pretty much pointless to actually kill. Unless you actually have a quest to kill some of these knights, then this is a perfect ascendant challenge to kill those knights for and get that transcendent blessing. Now if you do want to kill these knights, they're relatively easy. You can just shoot at them and then when they get close to you, you can jump down off the uh, center platform that you're standing on and then they'll go around and you can just jump back up on the platform and they can't jump so they just keep going back and forth and I get stuck in a little loop. But after you kill the knights, whether you decide to or not, you're going to run forward from that first platform you spawn into and it almost immediately down to the right will be your first egg. After getting that first egg, you can continue forward on the path. Now it is going to Y off where you can go left or right once you see these two little light things in the ground. Now it really doesn't matter which way you go, uh, they both lead to the same spot. Now continuing forward, you're going to run into the second group of ads. Now when you do, there are going to be a couple of shriekers. Uh, keep a note on where those shriekers spawn in at. That's where you're going to find your second corrupted egg. It will actually be directly behind where those shriekers spawn. As you can see guys, there's a second set of knights that spawned in. You can kill them if you want, you don't need to. Uh, if you don't kill them, just kind of try to stay up on something high and you won't have to worry about them. When you run into the second shrieker guys, if you look behind it, you can kind of see it in the video off to the left here. That big tower behind the shrieker, that's where the egg is sitting. 
as you can see guys I'm sitting on this raised platform uh, if you're sitting on a tree or on something that's raised up off the ground those knights if you don't kill them they won't come after you and for those guys that are still lower level that are trying to do this those knights will one hit you which you know making you have to do the whole sand challenge over again so just kind of stay up on something if you're leaving those knights still live After you get that second egg, you can continue on the path a little bit, and then if you actually look off to the right, there's going to be a little platform you can jump to with a tree, and you'll be able to find Tolan there. Sickness, weakness, bad luck, pestilence, that's the old idea of a curse. This repetition is an innovation purpose built for guardians. After getting Tolan, guys, you can continue forward on the path. And you're going to be looking for this big set of spiral stairs. Now here guys, there are three helmless knights that spawn in, the ones that will charge you, no need to kill them again, but once you do see them and when you do find where they spawn, you will be at the set of spiral stairs, and if you go right here, you go up the stairs, but you want to go left and go the whole way to the end of this little path and you will find the um, car bones. And from the um hum car bones, if you do a 180, then look up in the middle of those spiral stairs, you will find the third and remaining egg. After getting that remaining egg, guys, you can continue through, go up these spiral stairs. There's a little jumping puzzle you gotta do, and you can complete this ascending challenge. There is nothing else left in here for you to find. Now once we get to the top of these stairs, those three helmless knights will still spawn in. They're still following you if you didn't kill them. Now you don't have to kill them here either. You can just take a left and run to the end. You know, as soon as you get up here and go left, there's a jumping puzzle. So as soon as you jump off this platform, those knights won't be able to get to you. Now once you get through the jumping puzzle guys, there is going to be a yellow bar knight spawning and a bunch of taken phalanxes that keep spawning. Now you got to watch those phalanxes so they don't bump you off the map. Uh, there's also going to be some thrall coming in. 
But the objective is just to kill that yellow bar knight, and once you do, the rest of the ants will despawn and you will have completed the ascent challenge. Now you also gotta watch once you get the knight down to a lower health. There will be a shrieker that spawns in, and for those lower level guys, that shrieker can melt you. Uh, easiest way I'd say if you have the Night Stalker, the Celestial Nighthawk, or just, you know, windle him down a little bit, and then once he gets to a certain health, you know, pull out that super and just mill him the rest of the way. You can jump up on one of these platforms here and just dwindle a knight down from the platforms. He won't be able to come after you. And all you have to worry about is the taken phalanxes and make sure they don't bump you off. But once you're on a raised platform, the knight will just stand still and let you sit there and dwindle him until nothing. But once his helm comes off, guys, this is where the shrieker is spawning in and he said it will melt you. So I pull out my super and just to finish him off. As always guys, if this video helped you out, go ahead and give it a like. Feel free to share it with your friends so they can get the Senate challenge done. Feel free to put any comments down below if you have any questions or grievances. And newcomers to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more D2 content like this.